at IBC 2017. It's Kirk Harnack in the Telus Alliance booth, and Tom Calabout has joined me. Tom, hey, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Kirk. How are you doing? I'm great. And Tom, I'm so glad that we met because uh, not only are we we're friends on Facebook. Yeah, yeah, I guess. yeah, 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 absolutely. And you have some ideas about the notion of virtual radio. That's that's kind of a buzz, and we're it feels like we're at the beginning stages of however you or you might define what virtual radio is. Yeah. So if I ask you, what does this idea mean to you? What's your answer? The idea of, uh, of a virtual radio is uh, to deconnect the traditional XLR and to go over IP. And IP can be a connection, but can also be a wireless connection. Yeah. And whatever you, you like to, 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 to put into action, you can do it over an IP address. And this IP address can go from a local studio to a remote facility, to, mo to a remote broadcast. So re virtual radio, virtualization in the radio business mm -hmm. can be kind of anything. You can send out a reporter in the field and he can uh, make an intervention in radio from his cell phone. Sure, yeah. Uh, you yeah. can put a, a remote studio somewhere and just play the music from your studio facility and only get a microphone over ah, a transmission line. Sure, sure. So you ensure the quality of your uh, music on, on the air mm -hmm. while you only take a risk with the audio coming from the microphone. Okay, yes, yes. And you can do it virtually anywhere as long as you've got uh, cell phone coverage. You have a little demo I think you're going to show us about what you're beginning to do in virtual radio. Yeah, it's sort of an early prototype. Yeah, yeah. But it's already getting some shape. Yeah. Um, I'm incorporating an Axia X node which is absolutely remotely com uh, controllable. Uh, and I'm going to use it as a sort of a mixer. So you can really make some uh, audio fades and, and start stop and, and even a PFL bus. In Livewire, you got eight channels in and eight channels out, eight stereo channels in, eight stereo channels out. So you can really have a player, uh, A and B player, for instance. You can even put some, some cards if you like. Uh, you can put your microphone, you can put anything you like. Now, you're talking about an X-Node, not, not a mixer. Not, not a, a mixer, yeah. just a simple, plain, rack-mounted X-Node with, no, yeah, with two buttons. Okay, <laughs> go ahead and uh, pull your remote controller. Now, what he's talking about here, about an X-Node, is in version 2.0 of the Axia Telos Alliance, now X-Node software, we added the ability to do, uh, to do matrix routing and mixing of those routing points, those those cross points. And so, uh, Tom, do you have this? Uh, yeah. You, yeah, just show us here what's going and on. It's just all about assigning some sources to a destination. And as we have eight stereo sources and eight stereo de destinations, yeah. you just make one destination your program bus, and you make one destination your PFL bus, which automatically transfers to the program bus when you don't have any channel in PFL. Okay. So your reporter on the field can hear in the return ah, whatever is yeah. going yeah. through this bus. Yeah. And the on-air bus, you can run it to any console in your facility. And with Livewire, every channel is uncoupled. It's not a physical XLR anymore. Right, right. As long as it's in the Livewire domain, you can really have this source anywhere. So you, you can turn channels on and I off? I can turn channels on and off. I can. I can even fade. Set the fader level? Yeah. I can put the fader yeah. level. I can put something in, in PFL. I can listen to it. So, But this is, as I told you, a very early prototype. Yeah. And yeah. we will develop it. And oh, it's yeah. perhaps <laughs> next year on the IBC, you will see this in, in work. So you're going to see people like Tom building small but useful audio consoles virtually, well, using an X node uh, wherever it physically needs to be, yeah. but controlling it from anywhere. And again, getting away without, you may not need to have an actual mixer, since the X-Node can do, can do the mixing. Commercially speaking, you always need an Axia uh. mixer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And they're good. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Just get an Axia mixer and put an X-Node aside. So Tom, this is what virtual radio is beginning to mean for you and your customers. Yeah, yeah, here. just uncouple the traditional XLR connection yeah. and go over IP, go fully over IP. Very cool. The thoughts from Tom Calibut with uh, radiostudio.be. Check him out, especially here in Europe. You're going to like him. I'm at uh, IBC 2017 at the Telos Alliance. <laughs>